What's up world, Steven here to share a really quick story with you. I just got off of a call with a really close friend of mine who is in a transitional part in his life. He's looking to switch careers, he's tired of what he's doing, he's been wanting to build something for himself and just do more fulfilling work and do something that he's really kind of excited about. Student loans are almost gone so he can start thinking a little bit more clearly about what it is he wants and he's just not sure how to make that item happen for himself. And I shared a story that happened to me uh, because I think it's pretty analogous it, about his situation and perhaps if you are thinking about making a transition in your life this could be a good example for you to use in your own situation as well so before I was working with startups and working in sales and working with founders and things like this I was in the construction business so I was a project manager I worked directly under a senior project manager for some extremely large buildings here in Manhattan uh, it was a fulfilling job for a while and then uh, things got a little hairy. So that's what I want to share with you now. Uh, about November of 2014, I went to work just like normal. My job was half in the field and half in the office. So I would file reports about any of the work we did in the field to make sure that things were completed uh, according to scope and according to code. And we'd file those things away in case anybody had any disputes because we want to make sure we get paid. So part of my job was to walk through the entire building huge 45, 50, 60 story buildings from top to bottom, itemize any items where they need to be repaired or when things were damaged so that we can get paid. Super important in construction. Again, not the most fulfilling job you could ever have, but nonetheless, a thing that I was doing, it was a good opportunity for me and I learned a ton from this experience. So this particular day in November of 2014, I'm walking down the building. People live in these multi-million dollar apartments and so I just didn't have gear on, like most of the people in the building didn't have any gear on. So just walking down, basically complete the entire inspection and get to the service entrance, which is for construction personnel. And we're standing in this like triple height floor uh, where they have all the pipes and the service elevators and stuff if you're bringing in cargo. And I'm with my foreman who performed the inspection with me and we're just chatting it up and he's like, dude, check out this new kitchen I just built in my house. So he's showing me these pictures and this is a guy I have a ton of respect for. He's super helpful, brilliant guy, ex immensely talented in his craft. And he's showing me his kitchen. And it's like, ah, that looks really, really good. We're swiping through on his phone. And then he taps me on the back and he's like, dude, let's go to lunch. So I'm standing next to him. If you imagine the two of us are right here. And after he taps me, I take one step, literally. I'm six plus feet tall. That's about a foot and a half, two feet in front of myself. I take a step. And as soon as I take that step and I meet my other foot, a cement block falls literally exactly where I was standing. Someone on the other side of the wall had been chopping it out and had not demarcated an unsafe area to work or walk in. So I just missed it like that. I could be dead right now. I could not be making this video and sharing this story with you because I could be dead or at some other thing completely injured. And this is a exceptionally strange situation to be in, uh, especially when you're in your mid twenties. So the guy I was with, sees this and is like, Papa, not everybody gets a chance like that. You have something bigger you're supposed to do. And I nodded, still in complete shock, not sure how I feel. And I was like, all right, man, I'm actually not gonna go to lunch right now. Uh, I just wanna go for a, a walk. And he's like, yo, you sure, you good? I was like, yeah, I'll be okay. So I'm in Midtown and in the 50s or whatever, and I walk back to my office on the east side in the 30s and it takes I make sure I take myself like an hour and I'm just like what just happened to me and the more I think about it you know I called my brothers I called my family I let him know I was fine most importantly let him know what happened I, I I told my boss and he's just like all right well you're still here so that worked that's good uh, I'll see you tomorrow at work I think it was like a Thursday or something I was like yeah and I thought about it over the weekend and I was like Man, I don't want to die for this. So not only do I not want to die, right? Because I'm young, of course, and because I haven't done all the things that I want to do yet. I didn't want to die for that job. I didn't want to go out like that. I wanted to go out. If I'm going to go out, I want to go out and have anybody who's around know that I went out doing what I wanted to do the way that I wanted to do it and living the life that I knew I could live. And from that point on, you know, I'd always talked about wanting to work in startups, build my own companies and work with entrepreneurs and all this stuff that I'd heard on podcasts. I was like, I want to be part of this life, but I didn't know how to get into it. And I didn't have 
the push that I needed to get in to that life. And I sat down with a friend of mine, like a really, really close friend of mine, and I told him what happened, told him what I wanted. And he's like, what's your network look like? And I was like, dude, I don't know anybody. He's like, well, go on Eventbrite, find some events, and just go meet everybody you can and tell them what you're looking for, look for a mentor, whatever it is. And if you do that over a while, you're gonna find exactly what it is you need. So I took his advice and I went out to events every day, five days a week, one or two events every night here in New York City for about four or five months. This just started to snowball, so I got more comfortable asking for what I wanted. I put it out into the universe. My intention was real. And eventually an opportunity came up. So by March, I, was, I had a new opportunity and I was out of the construction game once and for all. Now, I say that to say, I had something, literally my life flashing before my eyes as my standard of, you better make this work. And that's what got me to take that next step. So I use that as an example to say, for any of you who are out here just setting a goal for yourself, you have this idealized life you wanna live, you have this picturesque thing you wanna do, or you just wanna be a little bit better at what you're doing, remember, you don't have a ton of time. I don't mean to be like really direct and serious about this, but like you don't have as much time as you think you do. And the longer you wait is the less likely you are to get these things done. So you just have to take action on things. And fortunately and unfortunately for me, I got that perspective in the form of a cement block that almost fell on my head, killing me as my perspective to say, this isn't what I want to do with my life. I need to make a change. And thankfully for myself and for those around me and my family and others, I was able to take that step and jump into it. Now, that's not to say this life has not had its challenges in entrepreneurship and, and working with entrepreneurs and, se and selling and things like that. It's very tough some days. But overall, the character building, the lessons I've learned, the trajectory of my life is much more fulfilled and open than I'd ever imagined it could be because I was faced with the fact that I might have not had a life at all. So I wanna put that out in front of you and I put this out in front of my friend. Take some action today, whatever it is, however small, one step is all it took for me to be able to be where I am today and my timing was right. I just missed the thing that was coming for me. It's just that one step. So if you do anything today, just take that one step to get where you are, from where you are to where you wanna go and start the process because as, as I mentioned earlier, no one knows how long they're gonna be here and if you're not working towards what it is that you wanna get to, nobody else is gonna be working for you to get you to that place either. So first thing is figure out what that is and what that looks like. But remember, you don't have as much time as you think. So I wanna put this out in front of you. Live your life the way you wanna live your life, but be honest, all you need to do is take one step. This is Steven here. If this was helpful to you, if you like this story or wanna hear more about it or wanna to talk to me about this, I'm happy to give you more details. Please leave a comment below. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe on this. I have tons more stories like this for other crazy low points in my career and life-changing and character-building things. If this is helpful to you, if this is relevant, please share it out. People need to hear stories that are authentic and real. And hopefully some of the things that I've experienced and go through every day can be helpful to you. And maybe you can share that with someone with whom it could also be helpful. My name is Steven. This is my channel. And I wish you a happy life and happy selling. Take that step today. Peace out.